Hey, hey, royalty. Hey, empress. Hey, empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page with a scam. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful, blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful, blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. And I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Libra. And anybody sending any negative energy towards me or Libra in this reading, may you return back to send a thousand fold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node? What does Libra need to know, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. What does Libra need to know? So Libra... <clears throat> At this time, it's all about your intuition. It's all about you trusting in your better judgment. It's all about you listening to your higher self. That's God in you, okay? You are most definitely connected to all that is, all that will forever be. The Alpha and the Omega, the universe, the creator, okay? God. Number two could be significant. This could also be wrapped around partnerships. You getting into alignment, duality, balance is here, okay? You most definitely have people that are trying to stress you out. Like, they want to send you mental conflict. They could be upset. They could be trying to attack your psyche, okay, to cause you obstacles and challenges. So it's like spirit is like, please listen to your intuition because it's leading you in the right direction. This could also have to do with someone that's upset over the, over the fact that you're in a place of authority. Or you have high level, like angels, ancestors, spirit guides, okay, that have the authority to help you, okay, in this realm. <clears throat> They may not physically be here, but that don't mean spiritually they're not working. They are. They're active. They're helping you. Somebody here is mad about this, that you keep getting like past certain obstacles or challenges that they thought that you were going to be able to face or that were going to stress you out to your breaking point. But instead, it has catapulted you to a place of leadership, authority, a high level position, ranking in society. OK, are you feeling more strong and confident, more strong willed? This is also giving me like balance with your solar plexus chakra. You're resting and you're rejuvenating your energy at this time. You could be sitting out into nature by trees, grounding your energy. 44 could be significant. The number 22 could be significant. 54, 45, okay. Twenty-four, forty-two, fifty-two, twenty-five. Any of these numbers could be significant. February, April, or May could be significant to you as well, Libra. Okay, what else does Libra need to know? Okay, from the cards. <laughs> Yeah, this is something happened in your life because it was meant to move you forward. It was like God allowed something to take place or transpire. Yeah, this is also you needing to get more rest. Okay, you could be learning that nothing, no one is can stop you. Okay, you're on the path to success towards greatness. Okay, okay, there's definitely people in your life that want to point blame at you too. All right. And you could be wanting, you could be like tempted in regards to fighting back or having to defend yourself. But remember, vengeance or trying to get revenge. But remember, vengeance is always God's. OK, you have your it's not worth it. Spirit is like, let something go. It's not worth it. OK, don't go towards it. This is you knowing yourself, you knowing what battles to fight, what battles to just let go, what battles you, you have already won. Okay, because this is someone that's wearing a false mask. This isn't even their, their real character or persona or aura or energy or none of that shit. They have been inspired by you or by someone else. <laughs> like, for real, the answer is yeah. The answer is yes. Also, if you have been feeling like somebody has been wearing a false mask with you, they have been. Okay, if you've been feeling them intuitively, Libra, they have been. Okay, definitely. Did I not say solar plexus chakra energy is coming through? Somebody was trying to affect your confidence, your self-esteem, your, your, your strong will, like your, your bravery within. This is someone that's unstable. And it's like you're being led to read in between the lines. You're being led to see like through what this person is presenting or whatever they're showing to society or online or whatever. It ain't real. OK, you have a strong connection to the Holy Ghost. You have a strong connection to spirit. This is also your crown chakra being activated. There's people or there's something that wants to hold you back, okay? So it's like the energy around you, it could be push and pull, 
be very mindful of like going against yourself, like self sabotage. Like you know something is right, you know something is for you, but other people sway you to do something different or sway you going in a new direction. Be very mindful of that, Libra, because you know what's right for you. Okay, this is an energy that lies. They have a blocked throat chakra. Your dream state is also being activated at this time, and it's because you're a highly spiritually gifted and inclined person. Someone here has fallen from grace. If they were a place of influence, if they were highly respected in society, not anymore. Not anymore. It came out in the reverse. Goodness. Okay, so let's clarify some of these and let's move to the next deck. Okay. I'm going to clarify a few of these. I'm looking for, okay. All right. What's going on with what's holding you back? For Libra, Holy Spirit, what's holding you back? It could be a fire sign, a king of wands, okay? Or this is someone that is passionately taking action to make you feel isolated, ghosted, hurt, okay? This could be someone that's, like, really passionate about this. Like, this this brings them fulfillment. This, this fuels them. This is what brings them that spark within, and they hide this, that they really want to betray you because you're someone that's stable, that people want to work with, collaborate with. Okay, you're building, you are a builder, you're very empathic, beautiful, handsome, kind, loving people like you. People want to work with you, they want to be on your team. And there's someone that wants that to come to an abrupt ending or shift. This is someone, either this person's mindset is holding them back, like their their thoughts in regards to you, their inner thoughts with the hermit, things that they keep to themselves. Well, this could be someone that you could be wanting to collaborate with, but you're not seeing that eh, going within, you'll see that this person wants to really betray you. What's the king of wands or backstab you? Yeah, and the high priestess, somebody here is coming after you because you are a high priestess or you are very gifted, male or female. Or this is someone that intuitively knows you're a star. You're meant to shine. You're meant to be well known publicly, globally, all over the world. Okay, you could be very spiritually gifted and inclined or very religious or very close to God. Or you inspire people. You're a natural born healer. This is why they're coming. The three of wands. Okay, this is also someone that sees that they can have like a lot of happiness with you because you stand by yourself. The Nine of Pentacles, they want something to come to an end. This could even be someone that wants your independence and you being self-sufficient to come to an end, where they want you to be like codependent, like needy on them. Okay, be very mindful of this person. What's the hermit about? Okay, yeah, you also have like a spirit guide that has been communicating to you or that has been trying to give you direction. This is how, this is also taking place while you have been in isolation, okay? It's like a past, it's, this is like a, a spirit guide. This is someone here that has been letting you know that someone has been causing an illusion, confusion, putting you as an option, trying to cause hardship or burden to you because you're successful. You could be very, very recognized, very well-known, Libra, male or female, very, like, self-sufficient, very blessed financially. You have, like, a very, like, good career that's taking off. You know how to take care of house, of home, of self. You dress very nice. You can live in an affluent area. This person could be someone that is like very attractive as well, okay? Or you could have been intimate with this person and they could have good intimacy, but this is someone that has a plan that they are keeping to themselves. And it's like your spirit guide is telling you like this is what's happening with the eight of wands. This is someone that is trying to hold you back, okay? Or has plans on trying to hold you back. Mm -mm. What is throat chakra is being blocked? Speak your truth. Somebody here has a hard time speaking their truth. It could be a water sign, okay? Your child's father or child's mother with the king of cups. This is someone that holds back how much they love you or they care about you or they don't want to show you, like, how deeply they feel for you, okay? That they want to be in a home with you or in a relationship with you. This could be someone that you're in a relationship with now. Or this could be someone, like, that is holding back that they really want to be in a connection with you, okay? 444 four, four is here. The Four of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Wow, you have a lot of spiritual and heavenly protection over your life. Four, 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 four could be significant as well. Someone is trying to lay a situation to rest in their life. They could be holding this back too, that they need to heal, that they need rest, that they feel alone in hardship, poverty. They could be broke. They could be feeling like this is someone that could have even made you feel abandoned in the connection before. What's the King of Cups about? But this is someone that doesn't want you to know how deeply they feel for you. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. This is someone that's not going to change their ways either. Like, the Nine of Wands in the verse is someone that walks around like a chip is on their shoulder. Like, they're supposed to walk towards them with a silver platter. Okay? 
yeah, the hermit, they keep a lot of emotions secretive or secret, or they like to go inward, or this is someone that likes to ghost you, or you could have ghosted them, or there could be no communication with the hermit. This could also be someone that's militant or really cold or really direct with their communication. They're really, they're really not like emotional, okay? This is also someone that wants to be viewed as like a hero, as a savior, okay? And in this dynamic with you, Libra, like they want to come in to talk to you or but they're having a hard time expressing their emotions. This could be because of inner trauma, okay? You have already moved forward or you will. This is like you, Libra, using your discernment and going towards someone new. Because this is someone that is like they're, they're fighting like themselves. And this is going to like make them lose out on an opportunity with you, the four of pentacles, by holding back. Like they are holding back from having a genuine connection with you. Okay. Oof, let's see here. Was this a fluent person in the reverse? The death card, it's over. Whatever this was, it's over. It's done. Okay, so it's time to manifest happiness within your life, okay? Something can't be healed with this individual. It could be with an Aquarius or a Scorpio or even a fire sign. Aries, okay? This is someone that was like, you could have won an equal give and take with or that was taken from you or that was taken from you given to other people. That could have said that they want an equal give and take with you, okay? That could have been around for your finances, your security, Okay? or because of what you brought to the table with the Six of Pentacles, but that was destroyed. It could have been for superficial reasons, okay? Because of how you dressed, what you give, like your love language could be gift giving. God exposed something so that you could, like this, this was, could be eradicated. The star in the reverse is a lack of healing, okay? A lack of faith, a lack of hope, a lack of inspiration, a lack of God in your life. Like someone feels hopeless. They feel very like depressed with this star, this could even be someone, yeah, the queen of pentacles in the reverse. I'm not sure if you were with this individual and this is someone that could have wanted you to fall from grace or could have wanted you to lose your money, your home, your career, your job, your assets. Okay, who is this person that's doing this? This would be an eight of pentacles, the devil, somebody that's obsessed with your career, your money, or with constantly doing something to you. A very toxic, abusive, manipulative energy, a tyrant, someone that is obsessive, possessive even. This could be a Capricorn. This could even be someone's mother, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Or this was what somebody was trying to do to you, make you very unstable, codependent, materialistic. Okay, this is what someone could have been trying to do to you, Libra. Okay, this could be a Capricorn. This is like someone that you were in a karmic dynamic with and they were like really trying to control your money. Okay, the Queen, and queen, the queen of Pentacles in the reverse, the King of Pentacles in the upright, take a hop of resonance. You could be the man or you could be the woman, but somebody here wanted you to like, be very unstable and really codependent and needy, okay, and turn bitter or like, oh man, like spirit is like, leave this situation alone, Libra, leave that alone, okay. That's that affluent person in the reverse, okay, and what's, it's not worth it, it's not worth it with this person that's scary, the nine of wands that's intimidated or envious or jealous over the fact that you put in a lot of work to grow, to evolve, to reach some type of precipice within your life with your finances, okay, with how you view yourself, with what you are doing in the world, with making an impact in the world. Somebody here is mad at this, okay? They're mad at that you chose the right path. Three, three, three on the timer. They're intimidated that you have all this material success and harvest and that people love you. They wanted to come to an end or you went through a real deep spiritual on a soul level transformation with the Ten of Swords. And now people are coming towards you to wanting to collaborate, wanting to, to work with you, trust your intuition with the Nine of Wands. This is someone that wants things to come to an end for you because they feel like you have more than enough. Nine of Pentacles, you could be someone that doesn't have children yet and it's like you're manifesting in family or you could be someone that is like you have a family, like you have a child or children, but you're just happily single, happily dating, happily thriving, happily living life. Your business is taking off, money is taking off, your career is taking off, you're dressing really nice, okay? You live this affluent, lavish, luxurious life and this person is mad that it's not them. Okay, so spirit is like, it's not worth it because this is just someone that's envious and jealous and they're going to have to sit in that energy. And the more they sit in that energy, the more God is going to allow this person to watch you succeed. The more they're going to watch the things that come to your table and not theirs. This is this is someone that is envious. So God will make sure that they sit in that. What else does Libra need to know? Mm. Yeah, Libra, yeah. Somebody was getting thrills. Like somebody was having a fun time being toxic, okay? 
This is someone that's in like continuous cycles. They make a lot of bad decisions. They're full of God addictions, or they could have tried to put this energy onto you. This is someone that is really drama filled and very argumentative as well. And you're incompatible with this person. And now they're paranoid and scared because you left. You made them insecure. They have legal issues that they're dealing with. Or you could have dealt with a legal issue with this person, legal matters with this person, where lawyers could have been involved, the court. Okay, this could be also someone that is a, a masculine, a masculine energy, or a feminine energy. Okay, take it how it resonates. You could be the divine masculine or you could be the divine feminine. But it's something about how this person wanted authority or control or discipline over you and their life is now chaotic because of that. There's a lot of disaster or downfall, upheaval, okay? A lot of toxic situations that could be happening in their life. And this could also be because they could like to be very clingy to old exes or dead end relationships or old ways or this is how they want you to be, okay, in regards to them. But I'm picking up on this person connects to certain people that bring chaos to their life. This is someone that's two-faced. Okay, a cheater, a liar, a manipulator, they will backstab you. And they could like the nightlife, the club scene. They could like to drink, smoke a lot. Okay, they could like certain type of individuals, women or men of the night. And they see that you are having some type of glow up. Or they thought that they were going to have a glow up by doing this. Okay, but instead they see that you have new opportunities, you have a new career, and you have a successful business that's coming in. It's making this person really emotional. Okay, it's making their emotions fluctuate as well because they also feel like you have a soulmate that you could be intimate with at this time. Okay, and this is a divine relationship that's meant to come in with a twin flame, the one. This could be a romantic partner that you are meant to spend, you know, this lifetime with. And this is someone that is upset that it's not them. What's this toxic about? Yeah, you rejected this and you don't want it. The four of cups, somebody here feels like they missed out on an opportunity at doing this to you. Okay, the three of swords because you have healed from heartbreak. And now you know what to manifest within your life. You want somebody that's emotionally grounded, mature, open, logical to love, that has been through certain situations or experiences and has learned the lesson. Okay, like, yeah, the queen of pentacles. You are a wife or a husband, Libra, and your money is really up there. Like, I'm not sure if you came into some type of new promotion or raise, but not only are you sexy and attractive, male or female, you got a bag and people see it, okay? And it's because you're being guided by spirit with the six of swords. Somebody here knows this, that you have sacrificed something, you let something go. This was a self-sacrifice, okay? Somebody is having a hard time letting things go or understanding this, that you have freed yourself. Hangman in the reverse is being able to see something from a 360 eye view, no longer being stuck or trapped in a situation. You are enlightened. You know what's up, okay? And ain't nothing can stop you. Ain't nothing or no one can, I can't stop. That's what I'm hearing. And it's scaring this person because you're like, they never thought you would hold back. They never thought that you would know your worth. Male or female, this is someone that is toxic, that got a thrill out of hurting you, abusing you or using you financially, emotionally, okay, mentally even, because you could be someone that is very, very logical, or this could be someone that just thought that you were just going to give them money and sex. The spirit was like, enough of that, the five of pentacles, this is someone that you need to leave out in hardship, okay, or that is in hardship because you have left them alone and you're collaborating with other people that are more aligned with you, the three of pentacles. The lovers, you could be working together with the divine lover. Y'all could be making a business together. This could also be soulmate energies you could be coming in contact with, okay? Like friendships, new partnerships, people that are aligned with you, your morals, values, beliefs, your soul, okay? Your path, where you're going, people that God are orchestrating in to collaborate with you, to, to be on a team with you, okay? These are not people that are going to play mind games with you at all, the five of swords, or somebody here knows that they got caught up playing mind games and now they want to throw in the truth. They want to compromise with you, but that cycle is done. The world is like that. That's done. Somebody can't come back or it's like spirit is like, it's just a no. Like It's a, it's, mm -mm. it's a no. It's a, mm -mm. what else does Libra need to know? Okay. Yeah, you have here. Yeah, somebody here is very rageful. This could be a Scorpio, okay, about you. Or you could be feeling this way about a Scorpio. Somebody here is really, really rageful. And they feel like you're not in some type of mental imprisonment. They feel like you're getting your wishes granted after some type of divorce. After you chose to be single, you trusted the signs and synchronicities and it's blessing your life at this time. Somebody's mad about that. They want you to stop listening to your angels, your ancestors, your spirit, your spirit guides and believe what they want to tell you. Like this is someone that either you went through a divorce with or you're about to. Yeah, you always have a choice because there is somebody coming in. It could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that you could be choosing from. This could be one of your options. What's this water sign energy? Okay. What's the water sign? Yeah, this could be a twin that's coming towards you. Okay. Yeah, you also have a divine masculine. You could be meeting a divine masculine or divine feminine. 
okay? This is after you have healed your shadow, okay? This is someone that's going to be like the other side of you. You also have someone here that could be working out of their shadow self that's in hot pursuit of you because they feel like intuitively, they feel energetically you're with your divine masculine or feminine, like they're, they're here already. For someone here, this could be an Aquarius, okay? Yeah, you also have here, yeah, this, you've rejected an offer or a revoked an offer or a proposal or you don't want to be with someone. Like, you know that the commitment, it can't be healed or you're at a place of healing at this time. Sagittarius, you're doing things in moderation. You're more peaceful. You're more kind. You're more structured. You are, you are very, very, like, logical. You're someone who's really intelligent. You could be a genius, Libra. You could be someone that's really into astrology, okay, like ge geometry with mathematics. You could study the stars. You could do architecture for someone here, okay, with temperance angel or your brain knows how to connect dots very quickly. Like you are smarter than the average person. The number five could be significant. 14, 41 is here as well. 144 four could be significant, okay? I'm sorry, 11. I'm sorry, yeah, 144 could be significant. 144, so I'm speaking to someone who is part of the 144,000, a twin flame like myself. I right, now, Libra. <laughs> we rocking with God over here. Okay, 2112, as I said that. <laughs> On the time, we with God over here. I right, now, yeah, trust in your intuition because a lot of things are happening, okay, in the next like few weeks, few months, a lot of changes could be taking place. So they need you to get the rest that you need, rejuvenate your energy, replenish your energy. Okay, I definitely see how you're creating a happy home and it's time that you leave the past in the past. Okay, you could be needing to move. This could be a physical move, a mental move, an emotional move, but spirit is moving you in a new direction. It's time to let things go with the hangman. Somebody is trapped. Okay, they're trapped, they're stagnated, they're delayed in regards to this person moving forward. This could be a Cancer or a Pisces or even a Virgo. This person is trying to manifest like healing or love or peace or clarity in their life, but they're having a hard time getting it with the sun. This is also someone that feels like you were the sun in their life, so they're trying to manifest back you. This is also an energy that feels like you got them back closer to God. Okay, someone from your past, and now it's like they're really codependent. Whoever this person is, the, sing the single in the reverse. This is the nine of pentacles in the reverse. They can sleep around for money, male or female. They may have nice clothes, but their bank account is on zero. Easter egg, them got shit. Okay, this is someone here that uses people to get money, to get things, to look a certain type of way. Okay, this is also someone that doesn't have like a job or money or assets or anything that they could give you. They are lazy. Somebody here, they lack drive, they lack discipline, they lack control. The nine of pentacles in the reverse. God is like, choose somebody else. Spirit is like, choose somebody else with the lovers. You also are choosing or you have chosen somebody else because of this. Okay, and it's a true spiritual partnership. It's a true, like, divine relationship that you are in at this time. And a lot of people are talking about it because they're realizing, like, you are not thinking about the past. Reminiscing came out in the reverse. You off the past, you're not on that no more. You're on somebody completely different. Like somebody is unparalleled to you. This could be someone that wants your forgiveness too. It could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could be someone that caused a lot of drama to you. Okay. They were really thirsty and chaotic. And now in the present moment, it's like they're having a hard time being by themselves. They're having a hard time cultivating the life that they want for themselves. They're having a hard time like studying their craft, being in their skill, working, going through their day-to-day -day since some type of cycle has ended, okay? The world, my, my, my thing keeps getting caught on my thing. It's so annoying. Since some type of cycle has ended, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy is here. I also see here there's silence, no action. This person wants to talk to you. They want to meet up with you. They're trying to figure out how to do this, but it seems like your masculine or your feminine has claimed them. Your true divine masculine and feminine, they're not playing that shit. Like, they're they not playing that shit. Yeah, the temperance angel in the reverse. Somebody here has listened to fallen angels, or they have fallen from grace, or they are having a hard time healing. There's no type of mental peace, emotional peace in this person's life at all. There's a lot of hardship around this person. Damn. Anything else that Libra needs to know? Anything else that Libra needs to know? Where are we at? Ooh, we're at 24 minutes. Let me hurry up. Mm -hmm. Anything else that Libra needs to know? They gave me one card here. Something about your finances. Somebody has money problems or something's going on with their work. You could also be buying new like material things or you could have success in finances while somebody is losing. There's, there, yeah. Be mindful of your friends or you could be, you know, building trust with certain people. 
Okay, this is also you knowing who's an acquaintance and knowing who to trust, who's actually supportive and loyal. This could also be like who supports you or who's there for you, who has a deep understanding or empathy around like a relationship that you could have experienced heartbreak with. Okay, I'm seeing this here too. You could be seeing who your true friends are during this time. What else does Libra need to know? Something could be happening in the winter and it's someone having a fall from grace. Okay, your angels and your ancestors, they pissed off about what's going on and what happened on Monday. This could be someone that was doing pictures, like watching pictures of you on their phone. Yeah, somebody went to a dark high priest that doesn't listen to God. This could have been someone's brother that did this and they are defeated and walking away or they will be. On Thursday, you could be meeting a soulmate or someone here could be realizing like they could have tried to choose a soulmate or they thought that they had chosen a soulmate, but this is someone that they are on different pages with. Someone lied and spread a lot of a lot of rumors. Like somebody here could have tried to duplicate your energy. Okay, in the next 24 hours, you could be finding out different things as well. You also could be realizing you are never alone. This is someone that wants you to unblock them. They could be sending you an unexpected phone call or message. The letter G could be significant. This is also someone that could be realizing you are already like in a committed relationship. Yeah, they have bad karma coming your way. Okay, you also have it. This could be someone that's gay on the down low, bisexual. Somebody here did sex magic on you. This could have been like towards a mother or somebody wanted you to become a mother or a father. So they could have tried to do sex magic on you. The letter A could be significant. Somebody here, their child's mother or child's father is the problem. They could be dealing with their worst nightmare at this time. This is why they want a surprise pop up on you. This could have also been someone that hid a secret pregnancy or they want to hide that they want to get you secretly pregnant. Okay, children could also be a factor in this dynamic. You have here, someone's asking why, or the letter Y could be significant. Why they? Why do you want to stay away from them, or why are you supposed to stay away from them? This could be someone that has a shortcut and deep waves. It's because you are God's gift, and they didn't understand that. The letter L could be significant. Okay, yeah, your ops and your enemies are failing, and they are defeated. Don't let the past hold you back, Libra. Okay, this could be a cancer in your energy as well. The letter N could be significant. Okay, spirit is like, don't be too quick to react. You have no more delays, no more blocks, no more holdups. Okay, the letter N could be significant. Your angels, your ancestors, and your spirit guides, they are protecting you and they are keeping you safe. Yeah, this could be a father figure. Someone here also went to their father or they got help from their father. They could be trying to make you a father. The letter Q could be significant. You have new love that is coming towards you. This is also someone here that could have wanted to copycat that energy or they could have wanted to choose. They could have wanted you to choose them knowing you're the counterfeit. Okay. An Aries could be in your energy. A Leo could be in your energy as well. You also have here, it's time that you balance out your mind, body, and soul. A decision needs to be made. You could have an Aries or a Leo X, or these could be people that are coming in or your ex is realizing that your emperor is coming in. Yeah. Somebody's going to jail. This could be for stealing money or for taking money, lying about money. Okay, two, two, two could be significant as well. You have new beginnings, the power to manifest with the divine. It's all about you going within. There's a Gemini in your life. This person may not be single for someone here, or someone here is not single, and they could be coming towards you while you could have already met somebody new. For someone here, this could be a Gemini that's in your energy. This is a new love, okay? You also have here the letter B could be significant. Someone here is realizing that you are a star. You could be in the public eye or you're getting a lot of inspiration, praise, or you're about to level up. There's also a Pisces that could be waiting or they feel a way. Okay? Yeah, open your heart to new love, Libra. You are the one and someone knows that they're about to lose you for good. 555 five, five is here. You have major life changes that are on the way. It's all about you embracing the new and letting go of the old. Okay, what's the advice for Libra? You have a soulmate coming in Libra, and you're going to have a lot of chemistry with this person. So spirit is like, there is a strong magnetic con connection here. And yes, this is someone that you guys are meant to be married. <laughs> We're somewhere here. So congratulations, Libra. Okay, congratulations on this true divine love. Archangel Michael, what's the advice for Libra? Okay. You have your positive thoughts create positive results. Okay. And your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. 
You have your divine love and wisdom. I call upon you now, and I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. Amen. Okay, and let's get a message from the Holy Spirit. What's the advice, Holy Spirit? Peace and thank you. You have here, I release physical and emotional tension to create space for flow. I hope this resonated with you, Libra. May peace and blessings be to you always, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.